if you're tired, stressed, anxious, depressed, a little bit run down, then there is a plant that can really help. There is no one solution for any of all these conditions, but this plant is now being thoroughly investigated and the last couple of years have shown amazing results. It's called lemon verbena. Now hang in there, I'm actually gonna show you how I use it personally and how they use it in the studies as well. So you'll get a gist of what you can do to adapt to your lifestyle. The first thing about it though, this lemon verbena, is that it's a potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. Now these are the two underlying causes of virtually every single form of chronic illness and mental health condition. So or automatically we can see that it's starting to work at the base of all these conditions. It has a sedative and an anesthetic effect. It's neuroprotective against toxicity brought about by beta amyloid toxicity, which is, of course, you're probably aware, related to Alzheimer's and other dementia-related conditions. It has gut healing properties, and of course, you're aware of the gut mental health link by now. We've got lots of videos showing the benefits of the gut in terms of lots of health, but particularly the gut, brain, gut, gut mental health access. And then uh, I thought I'd throw this other one in there. It's antimicrobial too. So it has lots of these properties and I'm gonna run through these and even some more ones, which you'll be very impressed with. The first thing though about mental health is that it's actually already been used in studies on multiple sclerosis. And it showed that it decreased inflammation and it improved clinical outcomes. So in the experiment, the people with MS actually said they actually feel better in the various measures they actually feel better. Uh, in, in the studies on both humans, rats, and even cell studies in some cases, uh, it decreases insomnia, nervous fatigue, stress, anxiety, and depression. And there it is, lemon verbena. And it's really easy to use. So when it comes to the antidepressant effects, most of the studies have been done on mice. And they use two types of tests. One's called the tail suppression test, and the other one is the forced swimming test. So TST, tail suppression test, and the forced swimming test. And in this study, and this was done with a cousin of lemon verbena, but it has about a 99% overlap with the actual ingredients. And plants will often have a hundred different ingredients. So it's very, very similar. And I put this one in for the very simple reason it's the best test to show you, but I'll, I'll show you how it links with lemon verbena. So this is a cousin of lemon verbena where they tested here. And in the tail suppression test, it actually improved, or, or the mice improved by 77% by taking uh, an extract of, lemon, of the lemon verbena cousin, compared to 70% of those who took imipramine, which is a, 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 a drug used for depression. So it's a drug commonly used for depression. Uh, in, in the four swimming test, 85% improvement in the mice, uh, compared to 77% with the drug. So it tells you, shows you how effective this is. Now, when it comes to specifically lemon verbena, there's two tests that I found. And the first one was basically repeating this one, the tail suppression test. It decreased neuroinflammation, remember? That's the cornerstone of the illnesses that we've got, mental illness in particular. So it decreased neurooxidation, um, again, the cornerstone of it. And it had antidepressant-like effects on the mice. Now there's a half a dozen studies mimicking this type of information, but as you'll see, we'll, I'll show you how it links to the other aspects of stress, anxiety, and, and the multiple benefits it has around your general health and well-being. The effectiveness of lemon verbena on anxiety, stress, and depression shows that it works through GABA, which is gamma amino butyric acid, and serotonin, which are the two calming, relaxing, cooling neurotransmitters. And at the same time, show that it decreases cortisol, which is your energy eater and related to stress. Uh, in an eight-week double-blind placebo control study, it's shown to decrease stress, decrease cortisol, and increase the REM sleep, which is that deep sleep we all need to go into to be able to have mindfulness during the day, uh, clarity of mind, and be able to cope with the day. And of course, meant that everyone was much more rested, and that's what they reported rested. In a study on caesarean birth, using the essential oil, so literally breathing in, sniffing some of the essential oil, led to a decrease in anxiety to do with the caesarean birth, uh, and a decrease in heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood pressure as a result of just breathing it in. Pretty powerful, isn't it? Then we've got a study on insomnia, and you've already seen and heard a few facts and figures on insomnia. 
a four week study on essential oil where they were giving it orally. So they had a couple of drops, three drops, a little bit of water. So it was a food grade, a high quality grade essential oil of verbena, lemon verbena. Uh, one hour before bedtime, it increased sleep latency, increased habitual sleep efficiency, increased sleep quality and decreased daytime dysfunction. So on all the parameters that they measured, it improved sleep. A study investigating pain and the role of lemon verbena and omega-3 fatty acids, that's your fish oils, they found a decrease in pain by 53%. When they added the two together, there was an improved physical function, so people reported that they could actually do more. And there was a 78% reduction in stiffness of the joints and the muscles and so on. Then in a number of studies, and there's a half a dozen studies to do with muscle recovery and exercise and physical activity, and they all primarily show the same thing, but they, they took it 10 days before. So every day for 10 days, supplementing with some uh, lemon verbena. And it showed that a decreased oxidation inflammation, which has been reported in all the studies, but the soreness that we get associated with muscles and joints and all of the other conditions is of course linked with oxidation and inflammation. So we've decreased that. Decrease in muscle damage, faster, fuller recovery after exercise, a decrease in uh, loss of muscle strength, so they're able to maintain their strength longer, and an increase in muscle strength recovery, so they're able to get out and then do some more exercise as a result, and of course, overall, a decrease in pain. Lemon verbena has been shown to have a huge benefit on gut health, not just the gut conditions, but improving their overall gut health, which leads to an improvement in mental health that I've already shown and demonstrated. And you've heard of the gut brain, gut mental health axis. Well, there is this axis literally to do with every form of chronic illness and organ in your body. So there's the gut diabetes axis, the gut hypertension axis, the gut, which I already made lots of videos on. So check out the videos. Check out the videos on the gut acne axis. And it shows the role of the gut in causing acne in all of the skin conditions, even aging skin. But what we find is that Lemon verbena helps with dyspepsia, which is the uncomfortable sensation that you get after eating the wrong type of food, the wrong meal too late, uh, or overeating. Gastric ulcers, inflammatory bowel disease, irritable bowel syndrome, anorexia, which is a gut-related condition. And of course, it improves immune function because your immune system is basically around your gut, the biggest part of it. So anything goes on badly with your gut, then your immune system is probably not functioning and vice versa. If you're constantly working on improving your gut, you're improving your immune system as well. It's a win-win situation. Then we've got the role as an antimicrobial, lemon verbena. If you Google it, you check it out, it'll come up. One of the top things is it's antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal. There's a lot of research on it and it's used extensively for these treatments and in particular wound infections. So if a wound isn't healing properly, it's probably got a another bacterial infection that's maintaining and ulcerating and causing problems. So lemon verbena has been shown to be very, very effective. Uh, urinary tract infections, a, a simple way to maintain a healthy urinary tract is just consistently be drinking this tea and the other herb teas that help keep that microbial balance in check. And then it's more effective, more effective than a bacteria sites that are commonly used in and around uh, everything from hospitals. And so it's shown to be are very effective for Staph aureus and methicillin resistant Staph aureus, which is the one that doesn't you can't seem to control in hospitals. So it's very effective and outperformed the common bacteria sides and the antibacterial agents that are used on it. Um, it's also very effective against a bacteria called Proteus vulgaris, which is a major one causing wound infections. So hence that relationship there. And of course, it's antifungal and it's more effective than the major fungicides that uh, in terms of controlling candida and controlling fungal infections on the skin and so on and internally um, it outperforms them uh, so a simple part of the, your regime would be just to regularly be consuming some teas or essential oils and this is where we get on, on to the last part of this how do we take it well uh, there's a tincture which you can have which is an alcoholic extract and that's one of the ways that they used in the study. So the three ways they used in the studies, alcohol extract, essential oil, and tea, fresh or dried. Alcohol extract is what you would get from a naturopath or a herbalist. That's the typical thing they would use is extracted alcohol. It's extracting most of the ingredients, but not all, and it tends to concentrate it. The essential oil, 
Um, you can take in some of the studies, they use orally, a couple of drops, but these have to be the highest quality food grade essential oils. So you have to make sure they're the highest quality in that regard if you're putting them in a couple of drops in your food. And that's the amount, the sheer amount, two or three drops that they used in the studies. And then um, literally just sniffing it and inhaling it. And that is probably the easiest way you can put it in a diffuser. You can literally put it on your clothes uh, and, and just enjoy that smell. And th these ones they were typically doing uh, an hour before bedtime. With the exception of the ones to do with exercise and muscle where they did it an hour before the exercise because of its a, 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 a sedative effects, hypnotic effects, it's a very mellowing impact on you. So always best when you have it at, at night time. And my favourite and the one that I use most of the time is tea, fresh and dry. I actually have my own little bush. That's a little segment of my lemon verbena bush. As you can see, it's a beautiful little plant. Grows to about a metre and a half high, and I'm constantly pruning it back and using it. And I make it into, uh, I dry the leaves, and I put it in here. Whoops, went there, goes one of the leaves. And this and the fresh one, depending on the season and so on, goes into my tea at night time. And that's my little uh, teapot that I make it in. And I do use it personally. I discovered this as a result of just checking out what the bush was, and then going in and re literally reviewing over 50 studies on it. And since then, I've been taking it at night time. And I can tell you from my own personal perspective, it is great for making you just much more mellow and calm and helping with sleep. Now, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of great information out there, all science-based information. Share it with your friends and tick the boxes.